go. You're not in trouble. <laughs> I have to agree with everything my wife says. Yes. I must admit, when I was younger, I, I dreamt about playing all sorts of characters, and playing a superhero was one of them. Although I, I did imagine myself wearing a cape. Every one of us would love to be able to fly or to have one of these special powers, but uh, sadly not. So yes, it's, you have to pretend as a, as a child that uh, you have them, uh, only in your imagination. And then pretending that uh, Chris is flying up there and Jess is over there, but invisible. <laughs> so it's, um, yes, a lot of imagination and a lot of repetitiveness. Sue is filled with emotion, and she's so loving and open and maternal. Um, but yes, they're both very strong, heroic women. I guess I'm just attracted to those kind of women. Luckily, I get to play them. You can punctually and change your power. Read a lot of history books and uh, a lot of novels to play my characters. To to sit on a beach and read comic books as part of my research. That was. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, we had to do our homework, and it was fun reading comic books. I only had one conversation with Stan, uh, or, or, you know, one day we got to spend with him, and uh, he called me Sue the whole time, which was great. It was very flattering, because he really embraced us as the characters, you know? I think he called you Mr. Fantastic. I think he called us all by our, our, our comic book names. Yeah, yeah. Everyone calls me Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's... It happens. <laughs> and certainly um, the family element just isn't present in a lot of comic book movies. And that was certainly important to me, yeah. I liked our argument where Sue stopped, uh, <laughs> where I got to stop you. Um, because I wish I had that power. In the middle of an argument, when the guy's walking away, and you're like, no, no, I'm not finished. <laughs> Hang on there. <laughs> I, think it's, uh, I think it's part of uh, the success of our movie, that it is an accessible, fun movie. We have all signed to do three movies. We had signed to do three movies at the very beginning, so we are obliged to do a third movie. But we certainly would love to, to do a third movie. Uh, in the comic book, Regents who give birth to a child called Franklin, who is uh, an incredibly powerful being. So uh, he has every power imaginable. Yeah. And I think it would be fun if we get to do a third movie, <laughs> that uh, Franklin uh, comes into the movie and into the story. I think it would provide a lot of comedy. C'est quoi ça? On comptait sur vous pour nous le dire. He's incredibly physical and sexy and, uh, and you know, very, very masculine and, and uh, th his, his image is in such a strong one. Uh, he's attracted everybody back. 